Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Yu-Gi-Oh! OTS Tournament Pack 14 opening. This is the latest in the OTS Tournament Packs with a bunch of awesome uh, reprinted cards in this set, especially the Ultimate Rares. I believe the three Ultimate Rares revealed were Super Polymerization, Toon Kingdom, and Nibiru as well. So any of those would definitely be an awesome pull for sure from this latest pack. I don't actually know what all the commons are for this set. They did reveal a good amount of these supers, which Medolce Messengelato would definitely be one I'd be excited to pull from this set to just add to the foil options for my my Medalche deck. So let's go ahead and get started with the pack opening. As always, I've got the 10 packs uh, for the OTS to open up. So hopefully we'll pull something lucky from these. So let's go ahead and jump right in with the first pack. And I also noticed that the art looks different. They added the little uh, Millennium Puzzle icon instead of the huge OTS words. I definitely do like the look of these packs more. They have a more Yu-Gi-Oh feel to them. So it looks like the foil is behind, as always. We have the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine for our first uh, common. We have an Icarus Attack as well. It's a pretty good uh, one for sure. Usually with these packs, they either give an er errata to some of the cards or just, you know, support that would definitely help for upcoming uh, sets as well. And our first foil is Super Quantum Red Layer. So I can't, I don't know if we're getting any more Super Quantum support. And it feels like we've had Red Layer reprinted in some of the past OTS packs. I believe it was a common though, not as a super, but still awesome pool for sure. It was originally released as an ultra, but people looking just for the, you know, generic warrior level five support that that card brings is definitely a good touch for sure in the set. On to the second pack. Let's see how we can do with this one. We have a Xi'an's Spy for our first of the commons. We have a Raid Raptor's Nest. So yeah, more Raid Raptor's support was reprinted. I believe Four Strix is also in this set. Just an easy super needed because we're getting new Raid Raptor's support in the um, upcoming pack as well. And we have a super rare Parallel XC. That's actually a really awesome super. I don't know if I even saw this one as one of these supers listed when they were revealed, but that is a great one for sure. Just for the fact that it's such a good, you know, support card in a bunch of different decks as well. And that looks awesome as super. Definitely noteworthy as well. And all I'm curious to see what the prices of all the ultimates will be as well. I believe Toon Kingdom might be the cheapest just because Nibiru and Super Polymerization are more staple cards, but awesome super for sure as well. On to the third pack. So let's see, we have a Cattle Call. That's actually an interesting reprint of that. Unless there was a, you know, text change on the card. I don't know. It feels like there's a lot of cards from uh, Wing Raiders in this set as well, just for the fact that Red Layer was in that set and a bunch of the Raid Raptor support as well. And I think Cattle Call was also, or it might have been from a actual booster set. We have an Atlantean Dragoon, so those looking to build Mermails. This is a great reprint also, which was in an OTS, I believe, as an ulti at one point. And an Unpossessed for the uh, Charmer deck. We should be getting the uh, structure deck for this deck soon. So this is an awesome super rare version just to add for more foiling into the deck since we have all the link monsters. I don't know what rarities we'll be getting for the actual charmer monsters in the structure deck, but just, you know, for full foil power, that's actually a very nice touch for sure. On to pack number four. Still want to see some commons. I'm not, I, I did know about this one being a common Void Ogre Dragon, a nice synchro touch, especially for those still looking for this card. I don't even know what this came, you know, reprinted in as. We have Demise of the Land as well. Nice common reprint for sure. And we have a super rare UA signing deal. Now, I do believe, just like with a bunch of other stuff in this set, uh, UAs are getting some support in the Phantom Rage booster set. This might have been a common remade as a super, but it just is a really, really good card for the UA deck. So getting this as a super rare is a really nice reprint as well. Like I said, a lot of this stuff in this set, I'm not familiar with what we're getting. So just being able to see a bunch of these cards is really cool also. All right, we have another Phantom Knights of Shid, uh, Shade, not Shid, Brigadine. We have a Raid Raptor singing, so more Raid Raptor support at that too. Very, very strange for sure for some of these common reprints. And we have the Dual Avatar Spirit Token. This card can be used as a Dual Avatar Spirit Token. If used for another token, uh, basically, I didn't know what this card was. I had to look up what the Japanese text for it was. But uh, this is for a new deck we'll be receiving in Phantom Rage. So it's really, really strange that we got the token before the actual release of the pack even. But I'm not complaining. I'm sure people will be wanting them when the set actually comes out. 
All right, so we're halfway through with the cards. Still all supers, though. So let's see how we can do with the rest of the luck. We have a Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. More Phantom Knights support reprinted. Another Cattle Call as well. And we have an Appointer of Red Lotus. This is the Pay 2,000 Life Points to look at your opponent's hand. Banish one card. So it was a side deck card, I believe, at some time. So just a, another good reprint. Because I don't think it's been reprinted since Stardust Overdrive. And even then, it was a common in that set but four packs remaining let's see how we do we have another atlantean dragoons another demise of the land and we have infernity uh general so yeah i believe yeah all this is new support we're getting infernity support also i remember people talking about this but this is an interesting one for sure because of the fact that if i said interesting in every opening uh for that i think i've said interesting at least eight times in this video but uh it's it was a jump promo uh, from a manga i believe so a little more difficult for people to get access to but with the ots i believe that's just the point of this set to you know make some of the supers and the commons easier for people to uh collect and then for some of the other cards just you know hollow boost rarity still no mess in gelato though i want to see at least one we have a phantom knights rank up magic launch uh weeping doll is this uh banish one tune that's interesting i said it again ninth time there and we have a smoke grenade of the thief so I'm, am i gonna see why hopefully an ultimate or a mess in gelato that's what i want to see smoke grenade of the thief for this super but i remember using this card as an equip spell just for some of the destruction plays you can do this is definitely a strong and definitely i would say needed boost and foil treatment for a lot of the other different cards in this set all right we're down to two packs left Let's see how we do. We have an Icarus attack again, and another Shade Brigadine, and we have another Parallel Seed. So at least I'm close to a playset of this because having a full foil playset of this would definitely be awesome for sure. But all right, we're down to the last pack. I'm either going to get a Messenger Lotto or an Ultimate Rare. Let's see. All my luck invested into this last pack. We have a Singing Lanius a rank up magic launch and nope sadly we have an appointer of the red lotus for our last of these supers so definitely a good amount of doubles throughout everything here and i kind of did lie to everyone we're not completely finished there i've got eight more packs to open up for everyone i just wanted to save them as a surprise if i just didn't pull uh well enough or to my liking with the first 10 packs because i was definitely excited for the ultimate rares in the set and just trying my luck with eight more so let's go ahead and continue and see if we can either pull messenger lotto or that ultimate rare that i want to see as well so we have a phantom knights of ancient cloak another void ogre dragon and we have another ua signing deal so we're just continuing with the doubles from these supers so far but second of the last of the eight so i guess technically it could be an 18 pack total opening i just wanted to surprise you all with the extra amount of cards i had we have a raid raptor nest a cattle call and our first of the super raid raptor four tricks but this is staple in any raid raptor deck so this is a good foil for that especially i believe it's been ultra rare and secret so now it's just gone down in rarity since it was originally a secret rare then ultra and now super but uh, regardless just easier for people to get the card because just from the reprints it had it's been a pretty difficult card for people to get a hold of for a bunch of different decks we have a Sheehan spy again raid raptor nest and another super quantum red layer well i'm gonna have my play sets i might not have the mess and gelatos but i'll have play sets of you know, maybe all these different supers especially all right down to five packs remaining still nervous no mess and gelato no ultimate rare i really hope you know we can change that luck i don't want to damage any other cards either so careful with those we have a void ogre dragon phantom knights rank up magic launch and up oh, finally all right we got a messenger lotto so that's very nice and that foil is definitely deserving of messenger lotto. this card's been a rare only for so long with a bunch of different um you know madoshe cards being uh, foil uh, I think Mew Fuel is just the last one we need. Maybe Ticket also, and Chateau. Eventually, it'll be super rarities or rarities higher for them, so we can fully foil out the Madolce deck. But Messenger Lotto was a good start for sure. All right, four packs remaining. Let's see how our luck will fare. Oh, Evil Thorns. This is the first of this, too. Is this a, you know, like a short print common in this set? But that's a good one, too, just because it's so hard for people to get this card. 
And we have a Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. And I think I do see it there. Oh, that is beautiful. Very, very nice. We did pull an Ultimate Rare and the Medulce Messenger Lotto right in a row. And that looks amazing. This is just another Toon Kingdom reprint right at that start. Look at that. That is very, very nice. It's not Nibiru or Super Polymerization for some of these staple reprints. But Toon Kingdom has been quite expensive lately. And this looks amazing. You can fully see the... The kingdom with the nice foiling shade in the back oh that is cool that is awesome very very nice i am not complaining that is a great ulti to pull good thing i you know wanted to get these last eight packs as well because i don't know if it would have been worth it if i just got the 10 but this ulti definitely made up for it i'm glad that we made that pull amazing and we still got three packs left i'm not counting all of my luck out just yet Let's see how we finish this off with three more packs. One more Mess and Gelato. I think the luck for another ulti is out of the question, but let's see. We have a Cattle Call, a Singing Lanius, and another Unpossessed. So are we close to getting a full play set for some things? Let's see, because we still could pull a third of something. We have two Red Layers, two Unpossessed, two Signing Deal, and two uh, Parallel XC. Let's see if we could pull a third copy of something or a second Mess and Gelato, because I only run two Mess and Gelatos anyway. Oh, there we go. A second Messenger Lotto. So we got my, you know, two that I'll run in the deck for full foil power. But the last one, can we pull a play set? Can we pull another Evil Thorn? Because I've only pulled one of that common. I'd like to see another copy of that because that, like I said, is a good common to pull. All right, here it is right here. Icarus Attack. And, oh, nope, we did get three Atlantean Dragoons, though. And our final card is the third of the Parallel Seed. Awesome. So with those there, I'm going to be careful not to mess up the ulti here and show off the playset of the parallel exceeds which is very nice so that's a full playset of those foils as well and all together uh, very very happy with the results like i said i normally got more of these packs than i normally do but i'm glad i did because we pulled this amazing ultimate rare as a result and i hope you all enjoyed the video as well i might pick up some more of these packs uh, but for now definitely happy with the results and until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Twig out.